There's places on this planet that once you visit, you know immediately you must return. This is one of them, Isla Guadalupe. It seems like yesterday I was here. A lot can change in just six weeks in a place like this. In August, the waters were warmer and the sharks were younger. I encountered surprises every day. Surprises like this whale shark, a rare sight here, and maybe for the first time, footage of one among the great white sharks. I also found a pot of some of the rarest whales on the planet, Cuvier's beaked whales. Needless to say, the expectations were very high for the October return trip. I could barely wait to see what I'd find, and what I found did not disappoint. Let me show you. October at Isla Guadalupe is all about large great white sharks large female sharks to be precise. When large sharks appear, like this one full of likely mating scars, many of the smaller sharks scatter. At about 17 feet long, she stole the show when she appeared. Being this close to an animal so big is the stuff of dreams for many. Of course, I saw other white sharks too, each with their own personality and some, like this one, accompanied by pilot fish everywhere it went. From beneath the water, the symbiotic relationship is a thing of beauty. Still, I wondered why these fish and why this particular shark? One thing I did more on this return trip is explore the sharks and their activity near this rugged coast. It didn't take long to see why many great white sharks gather here every year. Hundreds of Guadalupe fur seals gather along the shore. They are easily heard throughout the island. And I noticed one thing in particular. Everywhere I'd find seals, there was also usually a large great white shark nearby. And the seals, they tended to get very vocal when a shark got close. I don't blame them. Look how large these sharks are, just a stone's throw away from the shore. I've filmed many sharks in shallow water, but to see a mature, large great white shark in such shallow water gliding over the rocks is something I will always remember. They are very well camouflaged. Notice how these two great white sharks blend into those rocks. But despite this camouflage, the seals seem to know exactly where they are. Watch as these seals almost tauntingly zoom past this shark. Every shark here is so different. While scanning the shore, I found this shark. It is probably the most memorable shark I filmed during my time here. Do you see why? From beneath the water, it's easy to discern. No matter which view I captured, this shark appears to have an injury that will likely be permanent. It is evident the dorsal fin has been sliced. Most likely, a long line injury. This shark, like many with injuries, will adapt to this new form. It was certainly a feisty shark, and that feistiness allowed me to capture images of its injured fin breaking the water's surface. Witnessing the resilience of this animal up close was the highlight of this journey. Whether from above or just an arm length away below the water, this shark is one I hope to find again someday. Isla Guadalupe is the premier destination to cage dive with great white sharks. It is a protected biosphere reserve. To be in the presence of these creatures is truly magical. For me, coming to this protected biosphere is one of the most rewarding experiences I've ever had. It is a place that would undoubtedly attract poachers and illegal fishing for it not the presence of the various research boats and liveaboard boats here that keep an eye on this unique location. In the past, my focus has been on the aerial perspective of observing great white sharks. However, seeing them from so close with my own eyes is a much different experience than from afar. Liveaboard boats use a piece of tuna to give the sharks something to investigate on the surface. It is a practice called wrangling, 
It's not meant to feed them, but to merely stimulate them. In fact, a vast majority of the time, the sharks just glide by. But sometimes, they will display beautiful pursuits that will even result in breaches. Seeing a white shark just a few meters away breaking the surface of the water is amazing. Over 300 sharks have been identified at Guadalupe Island. Many by tourists who even get a chance to name them should they be the first to photograph and submit it. Some returning for years on end. While moments like this can seem very scary, a lot of people find being inside the cage is often a calm and relaxing experience. Even when a shark breaks the surface, it's a feeling, an experience that you will never forget, especially when you see a shark's iconic jaws. The boats that patrol this island are quite literally the only humans here. The revenue and the support they provide to protect Isla Guadalupe provides a means of continued protection of the island that goes beyond what the local government can provide. When you are there, it is clear the emphasis is on the concept that the sharks are worth much more alive than they are dead. Visiting this island actually has benefits beyond what you see when you are visiting. Trips here are educational, focusing on the preservation of the species and gathering data. Much of it by tourists who get to see these sharks up close and personal. Visiting this island in October was a very different experience. On an observational level, I was able to take in just how different the demeanor of the large female sharks is compared to the rowdy males I witnessed in August. The striking observation I made immediately is how much larger the females are. And while this is probably an anecdotal observation, the females did seem much more calculated in their movements around the cage. Females like this one glided ever so elegantly past me. One question many folks always ask is how you can tell the difference between a male and a female. The scars on this one are mating scars. You can tell it's a female by the lack of claspers just behind the pelvic fins. Claspers are an external appendage found on male sharks only. Notice the area behind the pelvic fins on this female. A male shark is strikingly different when pointed out. Once you notice it, you'll always know the difference. Hidden right behind the pelvic fin are the claspers. I came here to gain a better understanding of the great white shark, to come face to face with the animals I'm so used to seeing from above. Photographing them underwater was certainly a highlight of my shark documentation this year. I am certain I will return again. In the meantime, I'll take to heart the confirmation of my journeys here this year, that a shark that is alive is much more valuable than a dead one. That's the lesson of Guadalupe Island. That's why I will return. If you enjoy this content, please consider liking and subscribing. I've included citations to the studies and data shared in this video in the description below.